and welcome to Nursing School Explained in this video on MODS or Multiple Organ Dysfunction Syndrome. If you haven't already done so, I highly recommend watching my other video on sepsis and septic shock so that you understand what occurs physiologically before MODS occurs because usually sepsis is what leads to multiple organ dysfunction. So in sepsis, we have this widespread inflammation in the body that leads to massive vasodilation. And because we have multiple organs that fail, MODS is defined as two plus organ systems that fail. But if three or more organ systems fail, the patient has a mortality rate of 80 to 90%, which is really, really high. And usually the lungs fail first because of the cytokine release and this massive inflammation leading to ARDS or acute respiratory distress syndrome. What follows is the kidneys, liver and GI system fail. And if it spreads so far that the cardiovascular as well as the neurologic system are affected, it leads to 100% mortality. So pathophysiologically, Quick review here, there is widespread damage to the vascular endothelium that leads to increased capillary permeability because of the release of the endotoxins from the bacteria that are causing the sepsis. And this massive capillary permeability leads to vasodilation. And the vasodilation again leads the body to produce more of these inflammatory mediators that then cause this low blood pressure. When there's low blood pressure, the organs don't get perfused, and because of the pla platelet activation, microclots occur in the circulation that then lead to a mechanical obstruction of the blood flow. So basically now we have an embolus that's floating around in the bloodstream that can um, get dislodged anywhere. Now because we have this decreased organ perfusion, the body kind of goes into a state of panic and produces more glucose in because of the stress response, which leads to increased oxygen demand because the glucose has to come from somewhere. And then the cells are unable to use the O2 because it goes into this glucose production into the stress response. Now, when the cells are unable to utilize O2, tissue hypoxia occurs, body switches from um, aerobic to anaerobic metabolism, leading to metabolic acidosis, then what happens as the tissues and organs don't get enough O2, cell death occurs, and then if one or two or three more organs are affected, it leads to organ failure, maybe leading to multiple organ dysfunction if more than two are affected. 